Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Lynette. I apologize for the way my voice is sounding today, but I am dealing with a head cold, so I hope you all can excuse me. Uh, this is a look at the before of our garage here in Florida. It is basically our storage, the only storage we have. and It was not working for us. It was driving us up the wall, so we decided we needed to tackle it. And this project took us, I don't know, over a month maybe. So we started it back in early May, I think. It was getting a little warm here in Florida, but we really needed to get it done. Uh, so we just started by clearing everything out first. And then we actually ended up painting half of the garage the same day. Um, but then the rest was just done in spurts. So as you can see, the wall looks pretty bad. But I will go ahead and make a couple comments here and there. And then I will continue to show you guys what it looks like in the end. We debated about what we want to do with the walls because they were so bad. So basically I just cleaned them off and I tried to fill in as much as we could. And then later we actually came back over with like a more of like a patch repair type of thing after we had put a coat of paint on it. And the walls are nowhere near perfect, um, but it, it's pretty much the best we could do without having to actually get a whole new drywall or something, you know, out to do the, the real deal. We decided we're gonna use the paint we have. I had some uh, on hand, and so that is what we did. We just ended up trying to paint it, and it really, paint does, you know, cover a multitude of sins as they say <laughs> it definitely looked so much better and we're really happy that it looks a lot brighter also I want to show you guys these shelves that flex amounts sent to us um, they are wonderful we wanted white ones to just be able to blend in the wall they're extremely sturdy they're a company on Amazon and they're not sponsoring the video but they did send us the product and I'm happy to say that we honestly really love them and you guys know I give you my honest review on that. They're extremely sturdy. Um, they are nice if you have two people to be able to put them together, but you can do it by yourself. So just in case you're wondering, but um, they hold up to 400 pounds. And while Nick is nowhere near 400 pounds, he decided to do a trial, a test run, and it definitely held him. So I will probably go into detail in a little bit then. Okay guys, uh, we are finally done with the garage. It is by no means glamorous or anything like that. And it took us a long time. I'll just tell you all that. But we're really happy with it. And honestly, we've been using it for, I'm gonna say probably a month now as is. And it's been working out really well. So I feel like the system that we did put in place is functional and we're able to keep it that way. So that's the main thing. So the biggest thing that helped us is installing the flex amount shelves. And I will go ahead and link them below. They have very, very sturdy shelves. They also have some that are like mountable like on the wall where you can adjust them to different heights, I think. And also some that like you can attach to your ceiling. Um, but we chose the white ones that we could put on our walls. That way they kind of blend into the white walls that we have. They did send us a box of black, which I guess was an accident. And we ended up kind of cutting off the front edge of them and using them up top of the workbench. Um, so we still have some leftover and stuff, but these are like really super deep and they're just, they're great because you can kind of like even put stuff behind them. But anyway, thank you to Flex Amounts for uh, sending us these. So if you're looking for something for your garage or like a basement or something like that, definitely uh, give them a try. Prime Day is coming up on, what is it, July 15th, I think. So keep that in mind. Uh, also, if I look hot, it's because I am very warm right now. <laughs> I was trying to clean up everything and it's a little um, on the toasty side. But anyways, let me just give you guys a tour of the garage. Starting over here in the corner by this 
silver cabinet. We bought this one off of Amazon. It is Seville Classics. I like this cabinet. Um, I wanted something to put all of my painting stuff in and just different things that we have. Um, and I kind of have them organized into different sections. I have these white bins from Dollar Tree. Actually, they were thrifted, I think, but they come from Dollar Tree. Um, and then we have some of the white round ones as well. Those were from Dollar Tree that I had on hand. But we also have some other uh, random things in there uh, to kind of organize things and keep it out of sight. And this thing is nice because we'll be able to move it from place to place if we so wish. And we just have an extra car seat and some of my bags on top of the cabinet. Uh, right beside it we have our trash can and I usually put our recycling bins there. I just took them out because it's definitely not nice to look at. <laughs> um, but we have the boys bikes in here too. And also I have our beach wagon that I usually put all of our beach stuff in. We just kind of put that here ready to go. That way if we need stuff out of it it's all in one place. And we also have our Tupperware or Rubbermaid um, tables behind it in our chairs. And you'll notice that there is a crib uh, frame here, which we will hopefully soon put to use. Um, and we just really don't have a lot of storage in this house. The garage is pretty much our storage, so it definitely doesn't look the nicest, but this is kind of what we have to deal with. And we also have some extra flooring that we'll hopefully use for the house later on, but we just have to store it for now. And as far as what's in the clear hefty bins, just random decorations, clothes, whatever. And I like that they're clear because you can see what's inside them. And they do come from Walmart and they have like an extra added height to them. So that's really nice. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for these, go check them out at Walmart. I might try to link them down below. And all of the stuff that I can, I will link below. Um, let me see what's next. Oh, this fast track system behind me here. We got one set off of Amazon and then we realized we needed like two more tracks from, and we just got them at Home Depot. They're slightly different from each other but it's still the same system and you can like interchange it but it's really handy, easy to put up and you can move your little hooks around. They have all kinds of different hooks for whatever you might need. And so this is really nice. We wanted this wall in the front to just be able to have very narrow amount of stuff. That way we can have more room to walk around our vehicle because we do park a car and also our father-in-law, my father-in-law's scooter is parked in here. I don't have that in here right now, but we do park that along um, this side here as well. I will try and link the fast track system there as well. Behind me this wall over here, we have our freezer and a fridge, the one freezer we're not using right now. Um, and then we have my dad's saw that is still here and then Nick's a workbench that he made. I will go ahead and show you guys that. Nick decided to build a whole new one and it's working out great. I did not film that whole process really, but he just kind of bought some lumber and fit it into the right space and proportion. So I'm pretty proud of him for that. We did repurpose the pegboard that we had. We just painted it. The little uh, yellow or like the little pull-out bins are from Aldi and we just mounted them to the wall using some wood and then up top We're just storing different Gas cans different things like that you can see and then on the pegboard itself um, just a bunch of tools and That kind of thing and then on the shelves below we have uh, drills and just different chargers and whatnot and then on the floor We didn't want to keep too much stuff on the floor, but obviously limited space so you do what you have to do so we have our vacuum and air compressor um, ice chest and we also have like a toy box over underneath uh, the saw and stuff so that is pretty much what we did over here in this corner and it's been staying pretty pretty well um, we can see everything for the most part and it's staying that way so I hope you all enjoyed the video I hope it gave you guys some inspiration or motivation to tackle the not so glamorous spaces in your house. This is a project that I dreaded. Like I I didn't want to do it. It's not it's not fun necessarily. It's, you know, warm. Um but it was driving me insane and so finally when stuff just doesn't work, even my husband, he was just yeah, he was like, "Okay, we have to do something about this." 
And so now I feel like it'll stay this way and we have room to make changes if we need to. So that's what's important. It's functional and it looks so much better than what it did in the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do need more information, I'll try to link as many products down below as I can. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you are new here, we'd love to have you subscribe and join our channel. All right guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.